Right before Jesus gave this epic call to you to make disciples of the nations, what did he say? Remember, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore in light of this, meaning, so graduate, you don't have the cloak of Elijah, you have the cloak, the authority of Jesus Christ. The power and presence of Jesus himself is in you. And just in case you think I'm making this up, listen to his words right after he gives this epic call, and I will be with you always. You have the spirit of Jesus living inside of you. You do not depend on what the world can give you. You depend on God himself in you. Like, like there comes a point where as much as you appreciate what you receive from and in this world, it is not what you depend on or boast in. And like, as much as you honor how this world awards you, it is not what you live for. You have totally different perspective. You see what the world doesn't see, which means your eyes are set on a prize that the world doesn't long for, but you do. That's the last reality. You are filled with supernatural power, greater than any cloak this world can ever give you. And as a result, the power inside of you being supernatural, the, war, the reward that awaits you is eternal. Like Elisha had no idea what God had in store for him when he left behind 24 oxen. It seemed like a big sacrifice, but it was at nothing compared to what God was calling him to. And I submit to you today that nothing this world offers you can compare to what God is calling you to. Like, don't, don't settle for worldly pursuits and hollow pleasures and fading possessions. And don't settle for what you so often see around you. Monotonous, just go through the motions, casual Christianity. Don't settle for it. You've been created for so much more. You've been created to live an eternally significant life.